the cost of taking the scientific discovery of the AAV gene therapy shuttle and testing it in Duchenne muscular dystrophy patients and gaining regulatory approval for its use and, if successful, mass producing the therapy and making it available to patients worldwide will be enormous. This sounds complicated and very expensive. What are some of the academic institutions, charities, government mm -hmm. groups that have supported this research mm -hmm. in the past and will continue to do mm -hmm. so? Well, the, the, the major academic institution that's been involved is, is clearly the University of Washington. Uh, in terms of the financing, we can always use uh, more help because the clinical trials are going to be very expensive, way beyond what it costs to do the basic studies in the laboratory. Jeff, in expanding the availability of this approach to all patients that have muscular dystrophy, can you imagine a cooperation with industry, with the pharmaceutical industry, as uh, aiding that process? Yes, in fact, I think that will be critical to move the technology forward. What we can do at an academic medical center is do the proof of principle. We, we develop the technology, we get it working in animal models. We can even do the early phase clinical trials on small numbers of patients and show whether it's safe and whether it's effective. At that point, you reach a level of scale and expense that cannot be done at a university. And sometimes in the drug development world, that's called the valley of death, where you get to the point where you can show proof of principle, but now there's no funding that will take it into widespread application. In order to do that, it really has to come out of some sort of partnership with uh, industry, pharmaceutical companies, and, and that can happen at several levels. Uh, if if the treatment is looking effective enough, a pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical company may step in and say, we would like to manufacture this and scale it up. Uh, if you can't get that level of interest with an existing company, sometimes people may have to try to form their own company. And universities can uh, facilitate that process by helping someone form a startup company. But to take a small startup company to the level of being able to do the manufacturing and reach out to the patients to do widespread treatment, uh, you would need uh, a, a large influx of funds from the venture capital world. So either going the venture capital route or going to a partnership with uh, biotechnology companies or the pharmaceutical industry, uh, at present that's really the only way um, in, in the world today that uh, a treatment can be delivered to a large number of patients. The Raider family is doing everything they can to overcome the problems caused to their children by their muscular dystrophy. There are many families like them for whom a gene therapy approach could be life-saving.